Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. After the last failed mission where the Solar Moon 2 vehicle design failed to reach lunar orbit, yet alone land on the moon, Kerbal scientists were stumped as to what to do. They considered sending a manned mission up or a probe mission to fix the current one or just replace it. In the end, they decided the best solution would be to just launch it again, because if the last one failed, the next one surely will make it, right? Something like that. Anyhow, here we are at the launch pad. We are launching. As you might have noticed, we are in the air, even. Amazing, isn't that part? That part is my favorite part of a launch, is the part where we are in the air, and the air is awesome, and we are in it. And why am I rambling like this? Because I have nothing interesting to say. Uh, that is until we get into orbit, or close to orbit. So I'm going to skip to there. And uh, this is about the part where it, it gets to... It get you know? My dad doesn't know how to knock. Yeah. We've been over this part before. So, you know, about as expected. Just gonna go ahead and throttle down a little bit. Hope we don't run out of fuel, of course. Uh, that would be uh, kind of bad. Let's go ahead and pitch over the rest of the way. No, not the rest of the way. Not just yet. I don't know, maybe a little more. I don't know, I kind of want to, kind of don't want to. I think this rate of ascent is alright, don't you? Why am I asking you? You can't answer. By the time you answer, it'll be too late. So I'm going to throttle up a little. Because you said to. Uh, you did say to, right? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't paying too much attention to you. Sorry. Oh. There we go, lined up with the horizon. So just gonna keep on burning. I'm actually gonna do my uh, really slow burn to orbit now. Just really, like, minimal throttle, just burn. Okay, wish me, this, okay. Ah, oh, balls, not again, not again. How did I fix this last time? How did I fix this last time? I forgot how I fixed this last time. How did I fix this last time? <laughs> Shit, shit, shit. What did I do that fixed this last time? I don't even remember. It was just one simple thing that if I had done it to begin with, it would have worked, but I don't even remember. Uh, was it landing gear? No, apparently not. Uh, was it lights? Was, was it brakes? No. <laughs> oh, balls. Right then. Why the hell does this... Why do these decouple inwards? No, seriously, why do they decouple inwards? That doesn't even make sense. Right, fuck the world, we're just gonna throttle up. Huh, I think that worked. Uh, we lost a good portion of our landing stuff, but it's alright. It's alright, we, uh, we can recover from this. Uh, let me just turn this around so that we're going up again. Let's come on. Come on and throttle up. <clears throat> come on, come on and throttle up. Okay, almost into orbit. We're just going to uh, need to fast forward a little bit. We're going to also need to deploy some solar panels, I believe. See how much of our scientific equipment survived. Got one solar panel, we have an accelerometer, we have a thermometer, we have a... Uh, oh, it's that kind of solar panel, okay. And we have one light, 
which I'm going to turn off now. Actually, no, wait, we have three lights, two batteries intact. All right, this is, uh, this is pretty good. <laughs> I, I'm lying. I'm lying, obviously. But, um, yeah, let's, let's apply a little more thrust to get us out of the atmosphere quicker, and also to ensure that we actually get out of the atmosphere, because as you can see, my apoapsis is dropping rapidly because we're still in the atmosphere. Periapsis is dropping also. We're near a cloud of debris. That's probably all us. Let's see. What's our altitude? 64. Horizon. There you go. Just give it a tiny bit of boost. So we'll actually get in orbit. Does this thing have any RCS on board? No, it does not. That's alright. Oh shit. Our electric charge may go down too much. Nah, we'll be fine. Well, if we aren't fine, I can always start the burn early and burn in a uh, non-optimal manner to still get into orbit. The, ma the most important thing now is that we get into orbit and get a proper transfer to the moon set up. Uh, let's see, we're there. Apsopsis is still above the atmosphere. So we should be fine. Very uh, non-optimal optimal, uh, ascent pattern there. Um, let me tell you this. Don't, don't try that at home, kids. Uh, yeah, that's not how you launch something into orbit. Uh, especially <laughs> if you want it intact, as you might have noticed my craft is not intact after that little shenanigans so yeah don't do that don't do that unless you're a bad pilot like me and in that case you're a bad pilot and you should feel bad All right let's give this a bit of boost come on and back on 90 Okay, periapsis and apoapsis are above 70. So now we just start planning our maneuver node. Where's the moon? There's the moon. Actually, it doesn't matter where the moon is because here's what we do. We add a maneuver. We say prograde. Uh, we zoom out a bit so we can see better. We say prograde quite a lot. Say prograde. Prograde. Oh, hey, what? Is that lined up properly already? Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, that... Did I... I got rid of my, uh, periapsis. Alright, that's a... That's a good, uh... That's a good shot. Yeah. Oh, I love that. We're gonna curl around it. That's a pretty cool, uh, slingshot, if we were to use that as a slingshot. We're not, of course. We just want to get there. But yeah. We're gonna go try to land on the moon. Now, of course, this, um... This is the Sora Moon design. We've got to name it its proper name, though, because this is Moonshot 2. And uh, it's a lander, so, yeah. All right, let's see. Did I miss my burn? I missed my burn. I did not know I missed my burn. Shit. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's... Let's, uh, uh, yeah, so it's, it's gonna thrust a tiny bit awkwardly because of the, uh, solar panel there that's only on one side because it got ripped off the other. Let's, uh, switch to map and let's look at what our orbit's actually doing because it's not gonna line up with what we, uh, had projected because we started our burn too late. That's all right, though. It should still get us in the same general area, hopefully. Okay, we're getting close to running out of burn time. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm going to try to line it up with uh, this. Periapsis. 22. So this is actually better than our uh, projected 
let's remove that. No, I do not want to set LR comms as our target. We're going to go at a slightly later time to arrive at the moon. We're going to have a very similar uh, angle there. And we got plenty of fuel, so we should be able to land this thing. That is assuming that that one tiny engine on there is enough to land it, if this one is... I don't know. Uh, we'll see when we get there. Let's uh, accelerate time, because we have godly powers like that. Love how that's on the wide part of its orbit, and it looks like it's not even moving. <coughs> okay, let's go to a thousand. Okay, let's go up to a thousand, and okay, retrograde it is. Hello, busted lander. Oh. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and drop ourselves down for a landing on the other side of the moon. We're gonna land here, let's say. We're gonna land in the sunlight. That's the main thing, is we need to land in the sunlight. <clears throat> Fortunately, that's gonna require a bit of time warping around to here to drop the other side. Actually, no, we're gonna go to here. Uh, come on. Can't time warp faster than 10x below this altitude. Yay. Okay. Let's turn a bit. put ourselves right there oh we're we're flying low that's just the way it is we're flying low today I don't know, I'm quite fond of I'm quite fond of this spot right here. Let's just land. Let's hope let's just hope we can land. <laughs> That'd be a better way to say it, right? Uh I need to turn on precision controls. main thing is we want to cancel out our uh, horizontal velocity, especially more so than usual, considering we don't have landing gear and are on a crippled ship, basically. Um, it's very important that we successfully kill our horizontal velocity. <clears throat> yeah. Whoop, whoop. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Okay, we're going to point just this way, just the tiniest bit. Okay, now we're going to try and line up straight up and down. And we're just going to use the... Oops, that's the wrong button. Okay, line up. Okay, we are lined up for landing. Now this will be fine right up until we have to ditch the stage beneath us. Then it won't be so fine. So yeah, let's... Uh, no time warp below 5,000, except physical time warp, haha! -ha. See, I think we're going a little too fast for my comfort, so I'm going to turn the throttle up and hope that doesn't push us off the centered line too much. We need to stop going, oh, we're going up now, of course. There we go. Good, good. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Despite the major failure, we're doing fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I just uh, I just do this. 
think we're doing all right like that. Oh, there's a rock. Hi, rock. Hello, rock. Oh, there's another one. And some more in the distance. It's too bad we don't have a radar altimeter or a... Uh, or some other method of seeing where the ground actually is. I think I'm gonna have to do a panic burn. Yeah, I'm gonna panic a little bit. I really want this thing to land successfully, so... Excuse me if I panic. Shit, this thing is hard to balance with the fail going on here. Oh. Oh, are we on the ground? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, now we are. Jump! Don't break anything. Alright, we're on our side. It's a great start, folks. Uh, I hope that piece will roll away from us. Doesn't look like it will. We're going to have to roll away ourselves. Um, I'm actually going to retract this panel before we break it. Because we will break it at this rate. Come on. There we go. Let's fold that up. <clears throat> Come on. Nicely fold yourself away. Alright, now we're going to roll on it. Hope it doesn't break. Just going to roll very slowly, very gently across the lunar surface. Oh god! Why did it bounce? No, 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 no. Bad bounce. Bad. Bad bouncing. Okay, no more rolling. No more rolling. Okay, now I'm going to try and figure out which way is up. Okay. We're going to try and roll this thing up onto its tail, so to speak. Going to see if we can get it to stand up. Come on, just a little more. Oh, oh, don't fall over. Don't fall over. Okay. Looks like it's fine right there. Let's extend the panels. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, they're going to collide. Uh, just pretend they didn't clip through each other just then. And we have our first successful landing on the moon with a probe. Of course, I've done it before, but we're going to pretend this is the first landing ever, because why not? There we go, and it was a perfect success. Nothing went wrong at all, honest. There we go, now we have our engine activated, and we wasted the tiniest fraction of fuel. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.